friends before we get started let's make this morning cup of brew i felt like some iced coffee this morning and this is my first time making this trying this i saw it on youtube basically this recipe but not really going by recipe i bought starbucks cold brew vanilla sweet cream i don't know if i should shake it up or let's shake it up and see so gonna pour just like half next I'm gonna do half and half And Cold Stone Sweet Cream Flavor. Can you guys see that? <laughs> International Delight. We shall see. Sweet Cream. Don't usually use half and half, but I decided to try half and half because I, I like my coffee a certain color, but I don't want to use a lot of creamer to get it that color. And then I'm gonna use my electric whisk. Pan whisk, no frosting. I'm to make a mess. Let's try this. Let's get into this video. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, The Johnson 10, where I'm just trying to inspire my friends and busy mamas and busy families with easy and delicious recipes. Today I'm gonna be making homemade sweet potato pie, not the crust, store-bought crust, and some homemade sweet potatoes or candy yams, whatever you call it, I don't know. And my family growing up, we called them sweet potatoes. But um, it's October, almost the holidays, and I figure let's start working on recipes for the holiday meals. So I hope you enjoy, and here's the ingredients. Let's get into this video. Okay, friends, so here are the ingredients for the sweet potato pies and the side dish of sweet potatoes or candy yams, whichever you call it. So I have my bowl of sweet potatoes. I'm gonna use around six sweet potatoes. I plan on making two pies. <clears throat> the only difference, excuse me, between the ingredients for the two is eggs. Of course, I'm gonna use four eggs for the sweet potato pie. Right here, I have two cups of brown sugar. And then we're gonna use ground cinnamon. ground nutmeg and ground all spice. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the sweet potatoes and put it in this baking dish. Um, I don't know if everyone does this, but a trick I learned from my grandmother, you bake them in the oven let them get nice and soft all the way through so you can poke a knife all the way through softly and then you um, you can easily peel the skin off of the potatoes so my oven is already preheated to 400 degrees and I believe I'm gonna let it go for about 30 to 40 minutes I'll show you um, when I take it out of the oven, what consistency or softness, firmness of the potato that you um, you want to look for. So let's go get these into the oven. Okay, so the sweet potatoes are in the oven. So the next thing, well, the sweet potatoes for the sweet potato pie are in the oven. So the next thing, this is a simple. Um, I also boil my whole sweet potatoes in water before I peel them 
to make it nice and easy and simple to peel and dice them up for the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna dump a little bit of this water out. It's a little bit too much water. But now I'm gonna set these on the stove. You really wanna wash these and let them boil until they're soft all the way through. You don't want them to get as soft as you want your sweet potatoes for your pie to get because um, <clears throat> you like a little firmness to your candy yams so it doesn't become um, mashed yams. But I make those as well. My children just love candy yams either way you make them. So now I'm gonna go put this on the stove and let it boil for, I'm thinking, 30 minutes and they should be done. So I'll let you know how long it takes to get these size and this many of, amount of potatoes to get soft all the way through. Okay friends, so here is my sweet potatoes. Nice and soft all the way through. I'm gonna chop them up a little bit. I'm gonna do three for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use four eggs. Then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of nutmeg. A teaspoon of ground allspice. And I forgot earlier the vanilla extract. I'm gonna put a half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And a half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. some of that back in there. And then we have the two cups of brown sugar. Sometimes I use one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar, but I kind of like brown sugar more. So now I'm going to get my cake mixer. Okay, friends, so sorry about that bad shot. Um, and at first I forgot to put the top on, but once I turned it up high and it started trying to splash every way I remembered. So now you want to take it out and check on it. I let it blend for a long, long time. If you see, you get all the... Um, the excess uh, potato, I guess you would call it, just shake it off, all the strands and the strings. The longer you blend it, the smoother your sweet potato pie will be. Let's grab a plate, set this here. Can you see in here? I want it even even smoother than this. I want a really smooth consistency. 
what I think I'm gonna need to do is put a tiny little bit of milk. So here I go again, not measuring, but I'm gonna pour some milk. Not a whole lot, but just enough to get it nice and thin. And I'm gonna rinse this off of here. Cause you don't want to. So now I'm gonna just whip it up some more. Put that back on there. Raise it down. Remember the top this time. And I'll be back to show you the finished mixing. Okay, friends, so we're gonna lift it up now. Uh-oh, forgot to take the top off. <laughs> you see how it's less and less on here? Less of the little potato strands. I really think they're all gone, but I think I want to do it one more time. Let's taste this. Forgot to taste it. Honestly, I feel like it could be sweeter. I don't know if it's just me, but to me, brown sugar is not as sweet as white sugar. So I'm gonna add some more sugar before I whip this again. I need to rinse this off again and add maybe a half a cup of white sugar. Okay, so here we go. This wound up being about a cup of white sugar. And then we're gonna put the whip back on, close it down, top on, and now this should be the last time I have to whip it. We shall see. I'm going to turn it on high and let it go and see how it turns out. Okay, friends, now we're going to check this out again and see it shouldn't be that many of the potato stragglers. See that? Hardly anything. So that's that's good enough. Um, yep. See how thin that is. Let's taste it again with the added cup of sugar. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna take my store-bought ready crust. Now, I'll bake these crusts in the oven for about, probably about 10, 15 minutes. Where's this spoon? Now I'm gonna take my bowl if I can get it out and fill, these are deep dish, fill those up. Should have enough to do two. Yep, more than enough. Good, 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 so I can fill it up. oven is preheated to 400 and I'm going to let them bake for about 40 minutes. You want them to get nice and toasted and brown and firm. So I'll get these in the oven and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Okay friends, so the two pies are in the oven on 400. I have a timer set for 40 minutes and then these are my potatoes for the 
size of sweet potatoes or candy ants. So I'm just going to see how soft that is. So I'm just going to dice these up, not too small, nice size. Cause I'm gonna cook these on the stove top. Now this is different than what my grandmother taught me the next part, but I learned the easier process when you're not making so much. So I'm gonna finish dicing these up and then I'll show you the next step. I'm being a little gentle because honestly, I feel like I overcooked them just a little bit. But I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so here, friends, I'm gonna start this process on the stove. First thing I'm gonna do is pour two cups, well, it's a little less than two cups of brown sugar into my pot. These recipes do call for a lot of sugar. Then I am going to add some milk because I'm pretty much making my base oh, wrong spoon, for the uh, to keep the sweet potatoes in. Basically, making my sauce for the sweet potatoes. You see that? Like I said, this is part is not a regular recipe that I grew up with. This is something that I came across not too long ago that I enjoyed making. When you're just making a small amount. Next, I'm going to add some vanilla extract. This is a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to add, I'm gonna just take this top off, make this easier. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Now I'm gonna go down to a teaspoon of all spice. Remember, it's all the same ingredients that was in the pie, except the eggs. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of the ground nutmeg. Dump that in. Now I'm going to give this a good stir. you but growing up Thanksgiving the um, candy yams candy the yams or sweet potatoes was brown dark and candied looking color so now I am going well first thing I'm gonna do is taste this Good. This just makes me think of Grandma's house and Thanksgiving. Especially after this crazy couple years that we've had, everything's changed. We're not going to talk about that. This channel is going to be uplifting. So I'm putting the sweet potatoes in. Now, because I pretty much, because the, the um, recipe that I saw of this doing it this way um he put his i don't remember his name but i'll link his recipe somewhere on the screen too but he put his on the stove um 
raw, raw potatoes. So he pretty much just sauteed them on the stove inside of this sauce. But being as though I did mine, I boiled mine first. Now see how it's kind of getting mushy, sweet potatoes, but hmm, this is getting me ready for Thanksgiving, <laughs> for the holidays. I love the holidays. So I'm just going to let this simmer some and see if this sauce thickens up a little bit, but we don't really don't need it thickened up that much. It's pretty much done. I'm just going to let it all cook together for a little while and I'll show you the finished product in a few. Okay friends, so here's the finished products. We have the two sweet potato pies. I let them bake in the oven for about 50, 60 minutes. I let them get a little too brown, but they're nice and firm. Let them cool, they're firm to the touch because when you first take them out the oven, they're still a little jiggly in the middle. And when they cool, they cool firm. And here's the candied yams, the sweet potatoes. Nice and sweet. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna give a taste test and um, see how these turned out. All right, friends, so here's the finished product. Can you see that? Nice and yummy and candied looking. Tastes like home cooking. Okay, and here is the sweet potato pie. It's not the best looking. I don't make it often. Sometimes I hit and miss. It's not as firm as I would like either, but it's still good. But another thing, I love my sweet potato pie cold. So once it sits in the refrigerator and gets a little colder, it may firm up some more. but it tastes delicious. So friends, that's the video for today. Um, sweet potato pie and sweet potatoes, a nice soul food Thanksgiving traditional recipe. Thanks for watching friends. It was fun making this. I love that you stopped by my channel again. Please like and subscribe. Thanks again, friends. See you soon. Bye.